After you complete all the main quest lines in the new zone, and you complete the deed quest of the Wilderfolk, you will unlock the dailies of update 24, and I'm going to take a look at how to do them, and what you can get from doing them. You may have noticed while questing that there is some invisible vendors in this area, but after you complete all the quests, they will become visible to you. You can do the dailies. This is in Hultvis, right outside the city walls. You have three NPCs. You have a Hithril on the right. As of right now, Hithril does not have any dailies, only the Gulmark for Ember's quest. I'm guessing in a future update, she will have her own dailies. You can do. Middle, you have Advak. He has the Protecting Avabarg daily. To pick up this quest, it will open a couple of more quests. Now, the quests in here are pretty straightforward as well. Collect bones. Kill glooms, you kill wolves, destroy relics, kill a spirit boss, and there's the meta quest. Now for Avabark, I use pretty much the same strat. Start right here. Start running around, collecting everything, killing everything. Follow this path. Go back a little bit. Check to see if there's any drops. Then you keep moving on, and you go down the stairs. After you get down, it's pretty much the same thing. Go and collect stuff, kill stuff. And once you collect everything you need and kill enough stuff, you can head down. At the bottom level, there might be some glooms, but the main thing you want here is the boss be be right about here. Kill the boss, leave instant, you're done. After completing protecting Avabarg, you will earn Exactly a total of 9 Gulmark and a total of 9 Dale's Woodman tokens. Gulmark is the general currency you can trade for a lot of stuff. For the Woodman token, you can get some new armor. It's not as good as raid armor, but it's pretty good if you don't have good gear. Armor and there's bracelets. Now the NPC on the left also has an instance, it's called Protecting Shatsur Munsu. Just like the middle one, you pick up the quest, pick up all the side quests. The quests are pretty straightforward. Destroy cages, kill wargs, kill orcs, kill two warg bosses, be the sheep. So my advice to finish this quickly is just simply to follow this route. And then get every cage, get every sheep, kill everything you see on the path. Going like this, quick, that's now. Right here you'll find the two work bosses, them, go through here, finish here, save instance, you're done. Just like the other one, you can earn 9 Gulmark and 9 Veil's Bjorning tokens. So this guy gives Bjorning tokens, while the middle one gives Woodman tokens. If you take a look at the barter, there's actually a couple of unique things you can get with the Bjorning tokens. You can get the Hunter Port, the Warden Muster, you can get your own personal return to Bjorning Hus. There's armor here as well. And the Bjorning tokens. There's rings you can get. But personally, I think the best reward is the thing at the bottom. Drop of Veil's Honey used in the damage and healing food. Plus 9 tokens means you can get 1 a day per turn. So you can do these once a day. Rewards. There's also a weekly quest. Pretty much that weekly requires you to do this or this two times during a week. So if you were to do this on the first day, then again on a Friday, we, you would complete the weekly. And from completing that weekly, you get 750 embers. Of course, you get some Gulmark. But the big thing is that you get 3000 Virtue XP. Each of these instances have their own unique weekly quest. Now, the third person you can get dailies from is Radagast. Obviously, you can find him in Roscobel at his home. You can see that if you click him, a lot of quests. I'm going to try to explain this as well as I can. Start at the top. 
easiest daily of them all. Every day you can just go to Radagast and he will give you five Radagast Taming Treats. These Taming Treats are used in the Branding Critters quest. There are a total of six dailies. I will take a look at them last. First I will look at the other quests where you can earn the Taming Treats. Roscobol the Daily Egg towards one Taming Treat. Of course you get cool mark from this. Once you start picking up these dailies, you will also get this pop-up quest going up. Completing some quests for Radagas will give you two oak leaves. Another one is Roscobol Radagas Garden. Requires you to pick up a lot of vegetables. Pretty easy quest. You pick up all of these. Put it in the basket over there. You talk to Radagas. The egg quest. You can see these nests around here. Pick up those nests. Put the eggs in the warming chest up here. Talk to Radagast and you're done. The two quests you see right here are fishing quests. Require you to fish. Fish these items, you just simply just need a fishing rod. Train the hobby fishing. You need to go to a location where you actually get a fishing buff. Somewhere around here, where I'm showing right now. Good location. The last two quests earn the taming treats. Are calming the wilds and calming the farm. You have these quests in your quest tracker. It's easy to see where you find these animals. All the rings on the map. Travel to these rings, calm those animals. Sometimes they might be like really small animals and they're tricky to see. What you do then, you just go to those rings. When you're close, simply just spam your floaty names on and off. And the names on like a small little shrew will show up. Another good thing about these taming treats is that they're not bound, so you can trade with other players, you can buy from other players if you need. Radagast also has some rewards, trade for the Roscobel oak leaves that you earn from doing his dailies. The map to Roscobel you get for free, I have it right here, you don't really need to barter for this one, just in case you lose it somehow. It also has a whistle of the Lone Lands which summons a bunch of pets, stay near you. The title bird friend. It's a couple of pets you can get. Pretty nice. And at the bottom, there's a frame, Roscable friend frame, for 40 oak leaves. If you're wondering what this looks like, look at my character right here. I think it's pretty cool. And now, finally, let's look at the befriending critters quest. Each of these quests are different. They're all spread out throughout Middle-earth. 